Hello and welcome back to another episode of Nerd Bytes. Today we will be taking a look at using the Google PageSpeed API to pull Lighthouse metrics into New Relic. To do so, we will use a synthetic script to hit that API, take the response, which includes those Lighthouse metrics, and push them into New Relic for querying and for dashboarding for, for later analysis. So the first thing that we need to do is grab an API key to interact with the Google PageSpeed uh, API. So I've got that doc open here, and you can just hit get a key here. I've already done this, um, and I've got that saved as a secure credential here in my account under PageSpeed Insights API key. Now this name is going to be important a little bit later. If you change this, just keep note of that because you will need to change the, uh, the actual synthetic script as well. Once we've got that key, we need to actually get a script up and running. So I'm gonna to go to create a monitor, scripted API, I'll just call this Lighthouse. And I'm gonna set this to a one minute cadence just to get plenty of data in here. And we'll go for all of Europe. There are six locations here in Europe. We'll pick all of those and write a script. I'm just gonna empty this of the default script. We'll get rid of that. And then we'll take a look at quick starts. And there are two formats of quick starts here that we'll take a look at. One of them is a dashboard and one of them is a synthetic script. A quick starts for synthetics has two options, either fully pre-written synthetic scripts that you can take into your account for yourself or snippets of code that you can incorporate into your existing synthetic scripts. Today, what we're looking at is a full script. So this is one that we don't necessarily need anything around. We can just copy paste the entire script here, which is what I will do into, into here. And you'll see that this is using that uh, secure credential that we created earlier. And this is why that name is important, just because the script is using a pre-baked name here of PageSpeed Insights API key. If you change it in the secure credential creator, then you'll need to change it here in the script as well. Let's change this to hit newrelic.com. And we'll just go ahead and save that monitor. Now what that's doing, it's gonna hit that API with newrelic.com as its target, and it will take all of the Lighthouse metrics that come through the response of that API call and push them into to New Relic for querying. Now it hasn't run just yet, and so there's no data available, but we'll leave it to run for a minute and we'll move on to the next step, which is how do we dashboard this data? How do we view this data? That's where the next quick start comes into play. Now we have the Google Lighthouse metrics dashboard quick start here. Um, now you can follow the installation guide to go through there. I've already got the GitHub repo open and you can see that this contains all of the JSON that we need to build this dashboard in our account. What you will need to take note of though is if I open this up in Visual Studio, for example, you'll see account ID equals my account ID. Whereas in the JSON from GitHub, it's account ID equals zero. So you will need to take that into your text editor of choice and just go through search and replace to take that and pop in your account ID. Now, once you have that done, you can take that JSON, come over to the dashboards view, and we can import a new dashboard with that JSON. We'll import it and we will open up that dashboard. Now we can see we've got some data that has already reporting. I had this synthetic script running a little bit earlier as well, just to populate uh, with some data such that we can look at that in this video. And we're starting to get some of those uh, Lighthouse metrics in. So first Contentful Paint, largest Contentful Paint, Time to Interactive, Total Blocking Time, Cumulative Layout Shift, and Speed Index. All tracked here, all queryable. Now you're not stuck with this dashboard. If you want to um, sort of analyze this in slightly different ways, you can take a look at the query and you can see exactly what it is you need to query. In this case, it's custom.firstContentfulPaint from Synthetics Check and you can start to build that out into different views for yourself, whatever you find helpful. But that's it. Take a look at the video description for all of the resources, the uh, dashboard JSON, the synthetic script, and the PageSpeed API key doc, and come back next time for another episode of Nerdbytes. Bytes.